2017, Chantel co-founded the Leading Ladies Project, an organization prioritizing the education of unprivileged girls. Now 27, she's a runway choreographer and certified etiquette coach. The Bahamas. The Bahamas. Chantel struggled financially at the start of the pandemic and was briefly left homeless. This 27-year-old is now a certified youth leader, an active member of an organization that assists minorities in their educational pursuits. The Bahamas. The Bahamas. This costume is a tribute to the first indigenous people of the Bahamas, the Lucayans. The Lucayan women were known far and wide for their beauty, but more importantly, for carrying on royal lineage. This contestant still loyal to natives who were royal, the Bahamas. consultant I understand what is what is that well Steve have you ever visited the Bahamas all the time you know that <laughs> well you would know that for us manners and respect is a big thing and so I've decided to test the theory in my travels I realized that a common a common interaction that we have is knowing that respect and manners go a long way and so it's my duty to teach my clients the importance of having good table manners, formal dining, overall presentation, aside from just runway skills and public speaking techniques. The Bahamas! My name is Chantelle O'Brien, and I am Miss Universe from the Bahamas, and I live in Nassau. I am a pageant runway and etiquette coach, and I love being able to do it because I know that it's an avenue to inspire and motivate and empower women to embrace who they are and know that perfection doesn't exist. My platform is Perfection is a Myth, and it's really a framework and a design for young people especially to know that their journeys is going to be tough sometimes, it's not very conventional, but there are bridges to be crossed, you know, and you can overcome anything that you set your mind to. The Bahamas. 